مدني بدحينو مدنيال يا دمان شعبك الصوماليا ماركو هرا وين اسكا تحسيننا غيردي كتمت الله نحريسه تقم مقاله انا قدومي قبل كبنادر ابهي عبد الرحمن عمر عثمان انجينير يسو الله نحريس ابا عبد الرحمن موسن كدبن او كليغا قوسكيس لكن وحو كو غيريوده شعبك اي قرنك الصوماليات مدني مرحمينو وحن امد الصوماليات كما قد مدح كما مدح النايا دعاء على قرب تاغنيا انت و هوسبيتال كو جيرو اي ماركي او غيريوده كدب اي ما انت انا تاغنه ان انت عينو فجزاكم الله خيرا مدح الدولة ده وحن كما مدح النايا تذالك يا جهدك أي كبه ين آبه مدني مدح وينه الله نحريس آبه وحن وحنين شقوين بدن كسر قاب الدولة ده وحن وما ما حد إلنا يا دمان إنتو لصور شقية آبه إنجنيريسو أكو قربسي كربجيسان إن شقدي سوكا قول دارو شعب قبل قبل كسماليا وحن إذن باخايا إن حل كذا كسي ولان هول ذي الشخذي وعاصمة دان كوا دعابه سعاصمة دان ونخل مد هرمرتا ما هسنت مدني مرحمين If you allow me, Your Excellency, Mr. President, just to express a few words in English. Okay. Today is not a day of sorrow, but rather one in which we should celebrate. What are we celebrating? We are celebrating the success and the legacy of my father. My father had a vision, and within this vision, he believed Mugdusha will one day become a place of peace, where we can easily roam and walk across the streets with no fear of anything. He also believed this country would be one of stability, in which that we can actively work with one another, actively engage with the community for the betterment of the Somali people. He also believed and had an idea of a vision of a 21st century progressive politics within Somalia. The idea of a one man, one vote. The idea that all of us, we are citizens, and we can engage within the Somali community. A lot of you throughout the past few days have told me that my father came to this country as a sacrifice, and he left the family behind. I don't believe this was a sacrifice. I believe this was his duty, just as it is a duty for all of us standing here today, to engage within our country, for the betterment and the future of Somalia. <clears throat> Today I would like to honor his legacy by thanking all of his colleagues and the federal government of Somalia, starting with His Excellency, Mr. President, His Excellency, Mr. Speaker of the Parliament, and His Excellency, Mr. Prime Minister, and all the ministers and colleagues of my father standing with me today. If you allow me just to share a story with you all, a lot of people informed me that when my father was here in this country, he would easily roam the streets, he would visit many community centers, and he would visit people in very scary locations. And whenever he was asked, why is it that you are not sitting behind your desk? Why is it that you are engaging outside with these people, with all the dangers around you? He always replied with the same story. That because of the Qadr Allah, the day of his death was always written, and nobody will take that away from him. So for this, he will not cower behind or sit behind any desk or behind his office. But instead, he will go with the Somali community and he'll be wherever he needs, wherever his job takes him, he will go there as well. And in this, I would like to thank the federal government of Somalia and all those around me for all the support they have given me. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.